I uncut, uncensored truth right here on ISBC Truth Channel with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host... Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across the channel, this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, is a bell. Hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Make sure we stay lit by hitting that like button. Go ahead, Sister Smith. Women, woman arrested after making false bomb gun threats at Long Island Mall. Police, uh, a, a Long Island woman is facing charges after allegedly calling in false bomb and gun threats at a mall on New Year's Day, police said. Tasia Mor Morales Morales text bogus tips to 911 about a woman with a gun at Smith Haven Mall in Lake Grove uh, and even lied about seeing a bomb just after 4 p.m. Sunday, according to Sopper County Police Officer. You know, Sister Smith, I can't wait to see how old this old damn fat woman is. I can't wait to see how old she is. Because yeah. if she is over the age of 30 years old mm -hmm. and she's texting bomb threats into a mall and don't did not think that she was going to get caught, well, she belongs where she's at. In jail. Right. right. Go ahead. Officers responded to the scene, but found no threats. No one was e evacuated during the search for the made-up weapon. You but know the sad weapon, thing about this is? What? This Tasia Morales mm -hmm. probably got used to work in this mall got fired and wanted to get back at the employer who fired her. And this she is can't. how they do it. I'm sorry. Because I don't see no other reason why you are doing something stupid like this, calling a bomb threat in to a mall on New Year's Eve. Using your cell phone and not thinking that you're going to get caught. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. The exact wording was help. There's a bomb at the mall near the Barnes and Noble. As well as help. Alexa has a gun. Said Sopo County Police Commissioner. See, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I think she probably worked at Barnes and Nobles and got fired. Yeah. She worked at one of them stores and got fired. Because that's the only logical explanation I can think of why would she do something like this. And she's 28. Oh, she's 28. Yeah. That is the only logical explanation I can think of of someone to do something like this. That she either worked at one of these stores or one of her her ex-boyfriend that dumped her. Somebody that she was attached to either worked at one of these stores or she worked at one of these stores. Other than that, I don't see no other reason why she would do something like this. You 28, you are young. You ain't got nothing else better to do. Then to get yourself in a new set of handcuffs on New Year's Eve. I guess she probably said, you know, you know oh, what I'm going to do? Let me start. I want to do something sp spontaneous for New Year's Eve. Let me go get locked up. Uh -huh. <laughs> go ahead. Moral Morales. Um, yeah, Morales 
a 28-year-old employee. Oh, what I tell you? Yeah. What did I what did I say, Sister Smith? You said it. <laughs> this is my first time even hearing this report. We did not proofread this report. Sister right. Smith did not tell me this report ahead of time. We are reading it as we are reading it to you. And that's the only thing I can think of logical explanation for her doing something like this is she was an employee of one of these stores in the mall. Yeah. I was right. Go ahead. Uh, well, it's a 28-year-old employee at one of the stores inside the mall was later arrested and charged. Police said she was arraigned Monday morning and left court after facing a judge. She was uh, concerned that someone was coming to the store to confront her. She made this way, she made this way of getting cops to respond by making a false report, Harrison said. Morales, Morales uh, did not answer questions from reporters she was released on the con the condition she not returned to work. But police said it was not the first time. Around. So she was released on her own recognizance. So she didn't even get a bail. She was released, released on her own recognizance. So she got arrested. She went to Central Islip Court and she was got went in front of the judge and got released. So she's free right now. Mm -hmm. But she cannot go back to work. Right. Go ahead. Uh, first time around, this wasn't the first time she did such a stunt. Uh, we also have a couple other incidents where she looked like she was falsifying a report to a 911 operator via text. And we are going to look at those as well, Harrison said. Uh, the other false report were also made in relations to the <clears throat> to the mall, according to police Mor Mor Morales, who is due back in court later in January. Uh, that's it. Mm -mm -mm. Twenty eight years old. She ain't got nothing else better to do. What it would probably happen? She got fired. She probably got fired. You know, say, or was on the verge of getting fired, or had an argument with, huh? And gonna get back at them. Huh? Back at them huh? Exactly, exactly. I already knew what this was because I can. Sure. The, the only logical explanation for somebody doing something like this is they had to had a job or got fired from a job. That's the only logical explanation for this. Yeah. Well, Morales won't be able to get a job in the Smith Haven Mall again. And being that she have made the news, I don't think she'll be able to get a job in Suffolk County again. Because her name going to come up for doing something like this. This going to be on her resume. She's not going to be able to get another job in Suffolk County. All right. And nine times out of ten, she might not be able to get a job in Nassau County. Because who in hell going to hire you? Who's going to hire you? Your face is all over the news. Sister Smith, you see her? Yeah, I've seen her. See? Oh, your face is all over the news. Your yep. name is in the news for doing this in your employment. Who is going to hire you? Nobody. Nobody at all. It's a damn shame. Anyway, that's news. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel right here on ISBC Truth with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co host Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you are new to this channel, 
you just stumbled across the channel, this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a bell. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so that we can stay lit. Till next time, see you on the next one.